What is up guys? We have Emily joining us in today's video doing a little Q&A talking about future plans. <laughs> She's pregnant. Oh. I'm just kidding. We're doing 18 holes out here at Pleasant View. Somebody recommended me to play the alternate layout. I've alternate. only done it like twice. It's basically just two new holes. One of them's a par four and uh, we're, we're just going to jump right into it. Unfortunately, the two new holes are 16 and 17. So you guys get to see all the uh, usual holes until then. All right. First strip out of the car, D-line FD. Why? Because there's water right and this is replaceable. Didn't even bring the water into play. You know the rules. Too Had to stick a new essence in the bag because I lost my other one on this hole actually. Oh, a little late on the turn, but it's down there. Deep C2. We are planning a two month trip to Europe. Or however long we can go for. True, it might be two weeks. Could be six months. Or that. But what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to drop this huge map of Europe, hit up all the destinations, that we want to go to, all the course recommendations that you guys recommend, so keep on recommending them. And then on top of that, if you guys can possibly host us and you're not <laughs> a serial killer, let us know. We'll add those on there too, and I'll update you guys on this map of everything that we plan on doing. Or we could just meet up with you guys to play some rounds. You don't have to open up your home to us. We're not. Yes, you do. <laughs> but we could meet up with some of you guys, and maybe you guys could show us around where you live, show us the best spots to hit up for food coffee oh, yeah mainly and the food disc golf courses of course disc golf one food second i cannot wait to eat your guys's food no 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 we are not traveling europe just for disc golf of course this is going to be a trip for me and emily to do a bunch of exploring to see the culture just to travel we actually love doing that but also of course i do want to play tons of disc golf i definitely want to hook up with you guys play some casual rounds that's going to be Hook up with you guys for sure. Pause. <laughs> Hold on. Hold two. 263 <laughs> feet dead straight. Nice. Literally. It will also be our Ooh. next in next May will be our five year isn't, anniversary. Isn't that crazy? And we always dreamed about going on a big trip out of the country for our five year. So we dream that about would be it epic. Every day. <laughs> Every night I go to sleep, oh. I dream about this trip. <laughs> Just to clarify, we're making this trip to Europe regardless. Me and Emily, we sold our house. We basically have everything paid off. These stairs are sketch. And because we don't have any kids and nothing to pay on, this is basically our only time to go to Europe, which is why we're going. Now, with that being said, what I was saying is if you guys could host us, that's great. If not, tons of you guys are hitting me up saying, hey, at least come to this part. We'll show you around. That is also just as clutch. And if you are serious about that, my email is down below. Email me. It is going to be so much fun. Buckets. Ah! I hate this hole, mainly because of the walk up and down the hill. Hey, should I take the aggressive route right down the middle or go out wide? Um, wide. Really? Mm hmm? Loki, I was hoping you said down the middle. Oh. I'll take, no, I'll take it wide. We do have some questions. Do you want to? Oh, we already got some Q and A's coming in? Yeah, let me give you one. Why do you straddle putt instead of staggering? Why do you prefer it? He has two Oh, it thought through. So the reason that I straddle putt is because several times when I've been in the woods, I was in positions where I would have to straddle and I sucked at it. And then I just got to thinking, I was like, okay, I suck at these. Why not just always straddle? And then if I'm in a position where I have to straddle, I got it. The other thing too is I used to always do my jump putts straddled, but then I would do the inline staggered putt. And I was just like, okay, why am I doing both? So I just converted all to just a straddle. I'd show you guys a banger right here, but uh, we don't really have an option. I could go Simon Lazat air bounce. No way. Oh. oh. <laughs> How sick is that then? Still got the par. Jack Sharp 54 says, would you rather be a professional touring pro or a larger content creator? Ooh. That's a good question. Mm. I would love to tour around and compete and play disc golf. Oh, do it. But if I was a larger creator, I could also just still continue touring around and playing disc golf. I think I'd rather go creator side. I could probably make more money doing that too, I would think, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you think it would be like content creator for disc golf or just in general content creator? I think I'd want to go two ways about it. I want to do disc golf content, but I would also want to open up a second channel where I just 
literally do vlogs. So it could be a little bit of everything. And with that being said, I do plan on starting a second channel here pretty soon. And it's just gonna have the day to day with me and Emily traveling, jujitsu, food, coffee, just your stereotypical vlog. No disc golf content though. That's why this channel is for. Nice. Thanks. John Carbone too says, dream collab question mark. Ooh. My dream collab with a disc golfer would probably be either Simon Lazard or Kevin Jones. And then I think the dream collab with somebody who isn't disc golf related would probably be Casey Neistat, simply because he's like the only YouTuber I watch religiously and he kind of got me into all this uh, videoing stuff. Was that perfect? Nope. Huh. When are you coming to Alaska? We have some pretty sick courses that you'd enjoy. Alaska? Alaska would be pretty dope though. You, Emily, do you think we'll ever go to Alaska? Um, yeah, I want to go everywhere. Yeah, I guess. Everywhere. I guess that's true. Dang, you want to go next week? Not really a chance to do another air bounce, but I can work on these straight throw-ins. Not a throw-in. That is a good upshot. $35. Pocket change. Flying em from country to country. And Liz is looking at flights already for uh, Spain and Europe and... Oh my gosh, and all that good stuff. We got a par. Yeah. You said there was people in the Netherlands? Oh yeah, I do have some... Homies out in the Netherlands. All right, 203 feet. Emily, you thinking left or right gap? Mm -hmm. Right. I like it. Shout out to Emily on the assist. Emily, what the freak? Oh. Let's see what the straight gap would have done. Thanks, Em. We are in Scramble City right now. I think we go A2 and just roller angle finesse this thing. Looks pretty good. Wow. We got the par save. Could have had a birdie if Emily chose the right direction. <laughs> Ever since this pin got moved out to the right, I cannot seem to get one close. Which is crazy, because if it was in the normal position, I'm out there all the time. A2 shot, missed some trees. Oh, what? Where was that going? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I put the Q&A post on Instagram. It's one o'clock. I hope everybody's working either that or I'm being ignored. But Emily's got some questions for us. Well, he put up his Q&A as we got to the course, so. True. We didn't plan ahead on that one. It was last minute. But I've got some questions for you. What you got? Okay, first question from your wife. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what you got? What was your favorite course you played at this year, Ooh. not including your hometown courses? Okay. Obviously. Let me bang this pot real quick. Do it again just for luck. Oh. No! Mm, he got too confident. Keep it rolling, just keep it there. Oh my gosh, it literally went out into the water. Uh-oh. <coughs> How do I zoom in on this thing? Oh. Got well, it. did you think about your answer? Yes, I think <laughs> the favorite course that I've played this year, I think the favorite course I played was the one that we played at in Seattle. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Th that number one place in Washington. It's just magical up there. It is so beautiful. And we're going back in like two weeks. Emily, hold on. Before the questions, we're about to witness greatness. Oh. Today's the day I'm getting this hole. Here we go. With the wet putter. Nice. <gasps> Did you just nice me? That's the number one rule in disc golf. You can't do that. <laughs> hold on. I'm going to do two more. Just out of three. Four off the tee. And I better not hear that word again. What's the opposite of nice? We're, we're on it. We're hitting the gap. Mm, terrible. Hey, <laughs> that one's it. Oh, oh. <laughs> ricochet. <laughs> oh, what? I really got to go to the bathroom. What was your favorite video you filmed this year? Favorite video I've made for this year? Yeah. Um, honestly, the one that I posted uh, yesterday with the left hands, that was probably the most fun I've had. I don't know why. I'm very sore. That's the first one that comes to mind. Oh my. Let me Because, think. you know, you did a collab with Bedanza this year on your disc. Bedanza you. a little bozo, though. I'm just kidding, Bedanza. I'm just kidding. Emily made a good point. The whole week that Bedanza was in town was a lot of fun. Also, getting our new discs that uh, Back Night Snack Time dropped, that was a lot of fun. All the videos I shoot with Caleb and Tony, those are those are a blast. Not one specifically comes to mind, though. Maybe the one that got deleted had oh ever Oh my shot, gosh. And it got deleted by accident. 
that. It was just the outro. We'll do a quick story time. I don't know if this is going to be as funny, but me and Caleb, we get to hole 18. There's a disc on top of the basket and somebody had passed away. And it's a disc that you kind of drop off at multiple courses. And it was just saying like, this guy was an avid disc golfer. You know, please take a picture, share it on Instagram, yada, yada, yada. RIP. Well, me and Caleb saw the disc and I go, all right, this one's for you. What was RIP. His name? I can't remember his name and we'll probably keep it that way. <laughs> but I go up to hit the putt. I dink the cage. Caleb loses it. He's like, how are you going to dedicate that putt to this man? That's so disrespectful. So now Caleb stands up and he goes to putt his 20 footer and we are just crying. It was one of those situations where it's so funny. You had to be there and I captured it on camera and we were laughing so hard. We're doing the outro. And as I'm holding the disc, Caleb goes, man, I wonder what course he's at. And I go, probably the disc side of heaven. Caleb loses his mind and he's like, hey, we can't put that in. We can't put that in. And I was like, what you mean? I could have said hell on the border, which is another tournament in our area. That was going to be the outro. And then somehow I deleted everything. That was probably the hardest I've ever laughed on the camera. Anyway, story time's over. Hole nine, 288 feet. That is a great shot. Not to toot my own horn. I'm probably going to look back and see this story and be like, why did I even tell that? That was so boring. But story's a story. I probably, if I was smarter, I would have put up this Instagram post like hours before the tournament. But mm -hmm. if thanks. he was smart. If. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Emily's coming in clutch with all these great questions. Got another one for Hold you. On. Let me hit this birdie real quick. Carry on. What's your favorite course in Arkansas? And I have an answer also. For me. I think my favorite course in Arkansas has to be Persimmon Ridge. That is a pro level course. If you're in Arkansas, you have to try it out. Whoa. It's beautiful. What's it is really nice. My favorite, however, is the Alma course. Oh. It's the best. In what way? The views, you know, I don't normally play with Nate. I am usually there just for support and just for a good walk. And it's beautiful. I would say more beautiful than persimmon. <laughs> All right. And Emily's no longer on the channel with us. Whole 10, back nine, snack time, 280 feet. If you guys have <laughs> been to the one in Alma, you know. If you know, you know. Oh, no, 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 no! I cannot lose that Mako 3. One guy commented and said, hey bro, ever since I joined the channel, you've been sucking with your Mako 3. One, he's not wrong. Two, I checked, the dude was subscribed for a week. <laughs> How you gonna be subscribed for a week and dog on me on my Mako 3? Oh. What would you say your biggest accomplishment this year has been? Oh, this 25 footer? <laughs> uh, honestly, biggest accomplishment. I think just sticking two disc golf videos and just grinding through. It's probably my biggest accomplishment. Um, it's easy to make excuses and be like, ah, this is just too much work. But uh, like I said, I think powering through, sticking to it, consistency is key. These are pretty tough questions to answer on the spot, but I do. I honestly think it is the channel. I am pretty proud of it. I wouldn't say accomplished though, because there's still plenty that I want to do with the channel, but I am proud of it. On a lighter note, look how light my bag is. You see how many discs are missing? I've been losing a lot of discs. We're going to go aggressive on this one. 430 feet. Let's see what happens. Miss everything? Oh, that's oh. completely the opposite. I got a question for Miss Emily. What are the highs and lows of being married to somebody who's addicted to disc golf? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> the highs? I'm just kidding. Um, I'm making that much money. Highs, I would say I love that you have your hobbies. Mm -hmm. It's a great hobby because you're outside, it's exercise, and I love that for you. If your man doesn't have a hobby... I've got like a 99% oh, male sorry. audience, so there's not really that many girls. If your money. partner doesn't have a hobby, <laughs> really, it's just a good thing if you're in a relationship for your partner to have a hobby. Facts. You got to stay away from it as long as you can. No, <laughs> but it's good to do things not together all the time. We might get the birdie. Anyways, all right, what's your low? What's your low? The low, though, is that, you know, videoing and stuff, he also has to edit since he also works a full-time <laughs> job. That's time away that he spends with me. So I have not gotten near as much time with him as I should be getting. But that's why she's out here with me right now. <laughs> I will say, ever since I started doing part-time, that has freed up a lot more time for us to hang out. We've been watching mm. lots of movies. Hmm. I, oh, do you disagree with <laughs> I was like, I haven't been seeing more of you. Interesting. <laughs> this was not near as good as I thought it was. We got Emily on camera duty. If you don't catch me banging this putt, Emily, you are fired. What the heck? Hit him with that POV putt. 
Wow. Hey. That, that was pretty good. Emily, you want to do a little long distance competition? Nah, you're scared. Nah, <laughs> I'm scared. Get over here. Midnight prowl. Yeah. Rawr. Rawr. Ah! That one out of frame. No. Not bad, not bad. Here, come no. on. I got more discs. You don't have to go get it. Try this one. Throw it a little lower. Uh, Emily? See? What do you mean, see? I'm, <laughs> I'm watching you throw it in the sky. Here you go. Try this one. Look at that. Same spot. No, -uh, you got like, that's easily 200 feet. All right, my turn. Wow. Loki, kind of smashed. I think I beat you. Hmm. Throw in opportunity for the eagle. Huh. Nice. This is a healthy little bit. All right, we're gonna get a little sketchy with it on these next two holes. 430 feet way down the hill, but since I'm already losing so many discs, what's another disc? DD3 on hyzer, just a big fat water carry. And I lost it. We'll take a mulligan. Just a nice big turnover with the essence. That is probably in the water also. All right, well, I just lost two discs, so we'll skip that hole. I was gonna go aggressive on this one, but I think two L's for the day is pretty fine. We have more questions coming in. Brecklin asked, what's y'all's favorite season? Oh, fall. King of the fall, baby. Summer, love me some summer. Ugh. I love to be hot. I'd hate to be cold. What's y'all's go-to coffee order? Mine would be an iced Americano with some cream and some kind of flavors, maybe Ooh. some seasonal flavors that that shop has. Iced honey vanilla latte for your boy. Her next question says, who is Emily's favorite brother? <laughs> uh -huh. And I gotta say Caleb. I'm just kidding. I just said that because I know Ben doesn't watch the channel or I don't know if he does. I we'll, doubt he'll see this. We'll find out, I guess. But I don't have a favorite. I love both of them equally. We're actually both uh, equally, uh, gosh, less than two years apart, so. Dude, that thing is so straight. I'm sucking on these last two holes. Anyways, go ahead. And Ben has also given me a niece and a nephew. So Caleb, you might want to be thinking about that. If you guys don't know Brecklin, that is Caleb's now wife. We'll have yes. to get her on the channel. Yeah. Okay, next question from Samuel Sperlin. He said, when are you coming to Harrison? They have two great courses here. Harrison? Is that the racist city? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. We've been there, you've had a tournament there. I know, we ate, that was the first time I ever went to a Mexican restaurant and only white people were working. Oh yeah. I played that North Arc Open, which is at a college. I love that course, I played it once, did horrible, but I really enjoyed the course. Harrison's a fun drive too, so we might have to go out there soon. I love disc golf, baby. Still love it. <laughs> Emily, you got any more in you? Yes, do you want children? Excuse me? Do you want children? Dang, that was a beautiful start, huh? Okay, yes. I wouldn't mind some kids. Not any time <laughs> in the near future. Like, if I have a kid in the next four years, just know it was an uh, accident. That's a lie. <laughs> Three years. He better be ready. Whether he likes it or not. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind a dog, though. That'd be kind of cool. We could try that out first. All right, so now we're on to those new holes I was talking about. Hole 16, 670 feet. Your first shot, I'm just trying to get way out past that bench. And then the second shot is just kind of a forehand or a backhand into the green. We're gonna go bomber first. Let's try to get out there as far as we absolutely can. If it misses the trees, that's good. Oh, dang. I mean, I still have a shot into the green. So the trees that you see right there in the middle, it's just like an island of them and the basket's right behind it. So you can go backhand hyzer around the island or forehand, which is the route that I'm gonna be taking. There's also water long. It's a very narrow strip, so you need to get it close. I think that's perfect. Oh my gosh, that is so short. I throw this word perfect around a little too much. Had I had like 30 more feet, I would have crested the hill. You can also see how close that water is. So I've lost a few discs on this hole. We're gonna test our luck through the branches. Easy par. And now we have this super sketchy 318 foot tunnel shot. That's the way you're going? Yep, just for the video. Usually I go big hyzer or forehand around the top, but Whoa. I've been losing a lot of discs today. So we might as well keep that up. He's trying to lose another one. You're throwing over water, by the way. 
We hit the gap. Nice. Oh, we like hit that gap. All right, so last question of the day. Somebody asked if we come to Europe, are we coming to Finland too? 100%. A decent chunk of my European audience is like Finland, Norway, Sweden, and I can't remember the others, but yes, we will be hitting up as much as we absolutely can. We'll end this one on a birdie. 18 is nothing special. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Peace.